Well, I didn't set a red line. The world set a red line. We have been very clear to the Assad regime, but also to other players on the ground that a red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. Uh, that would change my calculus. That, that would change my equation. August 2012, second there. Why did he say what he said yesterday? I think for the same reason on Saturday that he passed it on to Congress. He, he seems to flinch when he's under pressure, and he, he backs away. And, uh, you know, he should, somebody should remind the president that he's president of the United States, not the president of the world. And this international community he talks about, somehow it's always trying to deflect responsibility. Now, if this goes well and the vote passes and we're successful in Syria, he'll be claiming the credit and say it was his operation all along. But to me, whether it's Harry Truman or George Bush or Ronald Reagan or John Kennedy, you have to assume responsibility early on, show leadership, and drive it forward. He's not this debate, I might add to you, is also about Congress's red line. You agreed to the Chemical Weapons Convention. This president has tried to find a way to blame everybody or anybody for everything. And, and leadership requires that you stand up, take a position, provide clarity, and take responsibility. And, and I can't imagine him saying that he didn't draw the red line. But he, he did draw the red line. Now for